we're going to demonstrate the summon feature on the Tesla Model S model uh, software version 7.1. So you take your remote, you hold the lock button down until the hazard lights start flashing, and then uh, hit the trunk button to reverse the car out of the garage. And uh, it will come out all the way to me uh, and present uh, when I get to the side of the car. Um, it will wait for me, or it will stop for me when I uh, come to the side of the car. Um, I can also hit the button at any time to stop it. So I'll come up here to the side of the car and it should stop and parks itself again. And then to put it back in the in the driveway, we can do that too. So I'll go in the car, in the garage, so you can see it coming in, and hold the button down again on the remote until it starts flashing. Oh yeah, I have to be within 10 feet of the car in order to do the summing feature right now. I'm to start it. There we go. So it's flashing and now I hit the front button on the remote for it to drive forward. And uh, it will drive itself into the garage as well. And I've set the parameters for self-parking to uh, stop with 12 inches of tolerance at the front of the garage. So it will continue to come forward all the way. You can see how it paused at the lip of the garage because that, that driveway is a little tight. And there we go. It uh, stopped and parked. And now it's closing the garage door automatically because I enabled auto home link closing. And we're all done. Car parked itself.